Hello everyone, it's Jill here, welcome to my craft. Um, today I'm going to make a little wall hanging, little mixed media type thing. I'm um, using this little butterfly MDF and as you can see it's it's uh, got some paint on it, that's because I've done the edges already and I've actually covered it in some sticky back canvas. I think this one came from um, a hobby craft and I think it's from the Madden, Madden pay road or something um so i've already done that i've got lots of little bits and pieces that i've pulled out of my little kits um we've got some tim holtz paper dolls a uh, little bit of hessian um this is actually an old earring I've pulled the back off of um little laser cut chipboard crown uh, a few bits and pieces from I think that's Tim Holtz ephemera pack, embellishments, uh, metal charms, etc. So we're going to have a play with these and see uh, see what we can do. That I pulled these couple of little bits of paper off of a a bit I had here because I rather liked the red, and I think I'm going to bring the red in on some of these other bits and pieces here. So let's have a go. As ever, always. Um, lay your work out before you start sticking um, I rather thought that would look nice there with the paper dolls on top um, but it needs trimming down a bit so let's just perhaps pull some of this off of here just to uh, just to make that look a bit more distressed probably pull too many of them off now <laughs> never mind we'll just trim it down a bit in a minute just has a bit of texture yeah so I think that's what we will do we'll take a bit more off of there and perhaps just trim some of that off like so don't have to be exact because that's the whole point of it it's a bit distressed right chocolate over there okay so yeah I think that looks quite nice maybe need to take a bit more off the edge there just bring it down a bit more bit thinner. That's it. Yeah, I think that looks quite good there. Right. Um, this little piece here is rather interesting. It's a, from a 3D folder, something I've been given. Um, but I need to just do something a bit more with that. It's a bit, a bit dark. I thought I would do a little bit of Inca Gold just to bring out the relief on it. Let's just do it like this. Yeah, makes that look really, make it pop a bit. Just so that you can actually see the embossing on there. It's really pretty. Maybe a bit more. And I thought that would look rather nice just there, actually. Let's just pop a bit more on there. Maybe just give it a bit of a buff. Bit more there. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice there. Brilliant. Um, right, I'm going to bring in some ink. I'm going to use my Adirondack in Cranberry um, because I felt it went with these colours here. Might just distress around the edge with that first. A 
just add a tiny bit more colour to this um, project. bring this in on a few other bits and pieces in a minute. That's better. That's that one and then I think we better do these little bits of white here. We don't want any white showing on those. There we go. So let's try again, let's layer this up again, so that's going to go there, that's going there, this one there, a little bit of scrap there I think, maybe tuck that underneath there, oh and there's a little bird there, parcel post. There. That was a little envelope. Let's pop that up there. That's, I don't know what that is, but it looks interesting. <laughs> so let's pop that here. I might just edge that one a bit. Just to bring in that little bit of red again. Up nice down there. The pen nib. Just maybe just move them across a bit. Um, nice watch charm. These are little just centers of little letters that I had, and I don't think I'm going to color those. I think I'll just leave them as they are because that sort of brings in this creamy color here again. Like so. Number two. So I'm just making this little project for a friend's birthday. So there's another little metal charm that says birthday. And flower, maybe there. A crown. That's pretty, but maybe that flower's in the wrong place. Let's put that down there. No, no, oh, we'll try that up there. We're just going to colour this, I think, in some ruby red pen marker. See how that comes out. Yeah, that's good. It's a good match. So, you don't have to keep these little things the colour that they are, just emboss them. You can dye them, use anything, some inks, crayons, pencils, just a little bit around the edge, one doesn't want to play the wall, <laughs> oh yeah, that just pops that, finishes that off nicely, so I think that looks quite nice, so I've got a mixture of blues here again, I'm going with some, um, yeah, some of that. <laughs> yeah, some of that. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the liquid glass to stick the gems on, and I've also got my heat gun. I'm going to use a mixture of the two. Acrylic, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh dear, long day. Right, let's go with, I think probably this bit's going to have to go on first. And that's going to sit on top, so just 
quickly pop a bit down down here so that that will be underneath the little figures the paper dolls so this is quite nice because they look like two little friends So there, there we go. That's it. And right, probably could do with some acrylic down here. Let's go with this one. I'll do with this when it's finished I'll just put a little bit of uh, wire or something on the back of it and then it can be hung on a wall that looks all right it's great using up all these little scraps of things on the uh, projects because individually they don't look much but when you've put them all together you get a really something quite unique. Pop a little bit of glue on there. Now obviously, I need to trim that one off. Turn it over. Excellent. Brilliant. And the letter. So yeah, just get your stuff out, just have a play, see what you can come up with. There we are. Pop that one there. In fact, I might edge that with a little bit of Red. I should have done that first, but not to worry. <laughs> there we go. Parcel post. As ever, it, with these things, it takes far longer to decide what you're going to do, sort out your kit, find things that match. <laughs> Once you've decided that, the easier part is sticking it all together. But it's all fun. <laughs> so obviously I need a bit of uh, hot glue on this one, I think. Oh, maybe a bit much. Might be alright if we don't push it down too hard. There we are. Maybe some hot glue on that. I think that's enough, is not Glue through there. Just something a bit different, the pen nib. There we go. And this one will be hot glue. Sorry, not my camera again. <laughs> Always good at doing that. <laughs> One, two, three. Probably should have used my smaller bottle for this one, but there we go. I didn't. So 
Okay. And then the charm, that's the one I would use the um, liquid glass for. It's always hard to get these down when there's not much bare metal, if you like, on the back. But I always find this works quite well, the liquid glass, for these uh, heavier type metal charms. that one just there there that is that so i hope oh, i must pull your little bits off sometimes it gets cut like that with your hot glue just pull the strings off when they've dried but as i said what i'll do with that then is just um attach some little bit of wire or something to the back of it and it'll make it into a lovely hanging so i hope that will inspire you to get your bits and pieces out of your little craft box and actually make something with them rather than look at them which is yeah very easy to do so thank you very much for watching and see you again next time bye